Good evening and welcome back once again. So this week we're going to try a course called Predator AG and this was actually recommended to me by the Pro Spartan Gamer. If you're a regular on the channel you'll have seen that I've done a couple of his courses which I absolutely loved but he recommended this one and he said it was either based on or like a remake of one of the Tiger Woods courses from the old Tiger Woods games which I absolutely used to love. I think I did play golf games before that but that was my, my sort of true love. Very arcadey but absolutely loved it. I don't know if I remember this course but we'll get stuck in and if I do find a person that made this I'll, I'll tag them in it so I'll have a look but we'll just jump straight in. And here we go this is the first hole I'm playing off the black tees and this one is par 4. So it's 350 so it's not a massive amount of yardage but um, I think we'll drop it down to a five wood. Obviously, we've never played the course yet. You know, there might be throw a few surprises, but that's part of the fun. That's why I like trying some of the the new ones. And that's just about perfect. So yeah, if anyone's watching, leave a comment down below for any courses that you recommend, and I'll I'll certainly give them a try. Always looking for something a little bit different. So this one's up 36, which is, so this is going to play almost exactly 100. Um, so I think we'll just, yeah, let's, hang on, are we on a slope? A little bit, not too bad. Um, but it does go right or left on the green, so we'll play it right, sort of right edge. We'll put a little bit of loft on. A tiny bit of spin. It should stop fairly quickly anyway. That was way too quick. Yeah. Almost played a bit too safe there. It's cost me. So do we chip it or do we put it from the edge? Um, I think we'll chip it. Let's go for a little... About spot on, roll a little bit. Ah, stopped a bit short. Comfortable power on the first hole though. We like the look of it, it's like a sort of jungle type theme, I'm assuming, uh, or like tropical theme. So another par four, and oh, this looks a bit more daunting. Um, Okay. Can you make it through there? No, that's too risky, isn't it? Is it? Could I? Is that too risky? That's too risky, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, let's just go for a big draw. And obviously, with it being quite elevated T, and um, this will travel a lot further. So yeah, that looks about spot on. Plenty of room to work with there, so not too much to worry about. It's very picturesque, though. Of course, I've got this big tree in the way now. Um, again, it might be another draw, or maybe, maybe a punch shot. What a punch of it. it looks like it's still hitting the branches. Um Okay, let's have a look. So this is gonna play at about one forty five ish. Gotta punch it in. Bit of a draw, bit of a Stinger. Let's try it. Why not? Yeah, just come down gently. That's not bad. It's not bad. So twenty three foot of downhill a touch. Um, yeah, I'm going to 
see that's about a grid line. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Nice, nice putt. Well judged putt there. Was that about 20, was that 22 foot I think it was? Happy with that. Okay, so first of the par threes. Oof, this is dangerous looking. Especially with that wing going right or left. You obviously going to have to aim over here somewhere. Um, so it's playing about 10 foot down. So it's about 187. So it's playing about 180-ish. Um, I'll say maybe about there. Yeah, maybe if I aim. Yeah, about there. So going a little bit heavy, but nice soft bounce. Oh, and it rolled back. I did have a bit of loft and spin on, but um, didn't think it was that much. That's pretty much spot on. Now, ignore these because they're quite deceptive, but I think this is about half a grid line. Whoop. What is... Okay. <laughs> There's some unusual things going on with the, that green there. You know, the spin I thought was quite reactive. Um, interesting. So, par five. Wow, okay. Um, there's not like a sneaky way through here, is there? Is there? No. Don't be daft. Nah, don't be left. Just being absolutely stupid there. This is not a Tiger Woods game. Um, means really not helping here. I'm just going to try and blast it over these trees. Or through the trees. Just, oh, don't hit. Oh, I'm going right for that branch on that. Oh, oh that's nasty. Well, I'm not going to aim over there, am I? So, um, yeah, probably looking at. Please just get on the fairway. Yeah, we'll just take our punishment there. Not go absolutely crazy and. Hmm. a look yeah again we might just have to take our punishment here try and get it you know as far left as we can without taking too much of a risk he says hitting into the tree that's fair way so that's all right but uh we need to get this one close because this is the fourth shot um so 12 down come on be close this needs to be close it's gonna stop pretty much dead yeah so this for the put, par save put. Oh, I slid it by, and I didn't take the weight off thing, and I I wanted to keep as much of the breakout as I could. So this is rolled a wee bit, uh, a wee bit, Oof, left edge, a wee bit too far. I was going to say, so bogey on a par five disaster. That was all from that tee shot choice. Bad choice. I'll know next time. Um, oh goodness.
So you really need to get it down in that sort of valley there, don't you? So you need to sort of blast this a little bit. And hopefully we'll hit. Yeah, that looks good. There's some right under that branch. I think I'm free of the branch. Um, I think that's about good, actually. Just draw in a little bit, just to hold against the wind. Yeah, that looks pretty decent. Not bad. Seven footer. Oh, got some nasty breaks. To be fair, I really should have got that uh, that birdie there. Disappointed with that. So another part five. And okay, interesting. Ooh, you kind of want to flirt with the right edge here, don't you? For the approach into the um, well, for the second shot. So that's about perfect. Um, yeah, see what I mean here. So. Just aim towards the left a little bit. Overpower it a little bit. Yep, 3% more. Spot on. Balls above my feet a little bit, so we'll go left. Oh, that's nasty. Um, I think I'm going to keep it as is, because... It is going to go a little bit left, but the wind should probably take it from over here, and I'd rather it be that way. Oops, I've miss hit that a little bit. That's okay, that's about where I wanted. Yeah, that's about spot on. It's not going to be a nice putt. Oh, it's not too bad. I knew it was going to be downhill, but... Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit off it. Nice. Nice birdie there. So we're back under par now. And onto a par three. Um, wow. Just look at that for a minute. That's uh, pretty spectacular. Nice view. So 195. Take about five yards off. Um, no, that's about right with the wind. Um, yeah. Put a bit of loft on, a little bit of spin, but not too much. It's got a tiny bit of fade, but the wind should just bring it back in a bit. This looks pretty much spot on, maybe a little bit too hard. Nice soft bounce though. Oh, that's a nasty putt. Again. Not landing in the best positions. I think this is almost a full grid line. Oh, that was travelling. Nice uh, judgement though. Trouble is if you take the pace out of it, it just breaks even more. So it's that, it's that risk whether you take the pace off and you know it's going to make it an even more difficult putt. Got a par four here though. Now there is a bit to the right. Which well, which is the best way in? If you get it through here to clear a line, isn't it? So if you've got a good shot here, which I think we do have, we'll overpower it a little bit. We've hit it flush, so as long as I don't Oh, is this gonna hit the tree? I've made an error of judgment again, haven't I? He's tricked me into doing that. 
I swear. <laughs> it was just sitting there, wasn't it? Waiting. Ah, that was bad. I'm blasting it through here. Ah, this is bringing all the bad Tiger Woods thing out of me. You know, the arcade style, which I love, but... Ooh, I've got away with it. I've got away with it there. Wow. I just blasted it through. And then... Um, Gonna put for a birdie. So again, quite a large break. I'm gonna say about a full square. And it hasn't really turned at all. And what the hell? That's come back a long way, isn't it? Just powered it in though. So par four. Trees in the way again. Um Hmm. So what am I doing here? Uh can I put an enough loft on? To maybe get over that. Yeah. Maybe. Nice. So this is playing about two or s no, two twelve, but then with the wind. We're looking about 204. Um, I think 197 will be fine if. Yeah, if we let it run a little bit, put a tiny bit of loft on and spin. But uh, just a little bit. Obviously, it should run a bit with the club type. Oh. Oh, that's a massive slope there. I didn't check. Should have checked. I've totally mishit that, but it's a... Ooh. Tricky one for part. another bogey that one didn't turn at all some of them are, are turning absolutely massively like left to right and others are just going straight um so back to one under so par four again and yeah i'm gonna drop a couple of clubs here just to be safe he's not tricking me this time Yeah, it's about spot on. Got a long shot into the green, but I think that was the right call. I'm gonna put a lot of loft on this, a bit of spin. Wind will take it left a little bit, but it is sloping left to right, which is good. So I'm quite happy for it to go a little bit left. Yeah, that looks spot on. Now will it roll a little bit and go back right? Oh, that's perfect. It's going to break pretty sharply. I think a little bit more than a grid line. Go, go, go. Oh, just didn't quite turn enough. Grid line was probably it. Oof. <laughs> Nearly missed that on the right side. Hey, the putts are tricky on this... Um, on this course. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, no, I don't like this at all. Oh, can you hit that? Can you hit that path and bounce over? Now, if I do land here... Hmm. Yeah, I think this is going to be one you have to sort of play safe. Um... 
even if it means a longer shot into the like quite a lot of it. Yeah, I think that's probably the right way to go. And you know, 174 yards is not bad. So I need to take it off. So that's 166. Wind's helping a bit. Maybe about put a bit of loft on. I'm gonna put a bit of draw on as well. A bit of spin. I'm gonna play it. Um, I can't put loft on, man. Uh, I'm gonna have to fade this in because of that tree. So I'm gonna play it over here. it's probably going to travel a bit further stop nice that's not bad but again an awful putt Whew. yeah I think that's a full square out because I can't see a thing. Oh, I just missed. Wow. I only just missed and I did power down a little bit. And um Nice. Whew. Nice save. So, yeah, it's just a clear two shot there, isn't it? Take a little bit off. Pretty much aim for this right bunker to swing it back round. Yeah, that's good. Now, why would I aim over there? Let's just have a look. So, yeah, if we can just. The wind is helping in this case, which is good. So, if we can just bend it around here. Oh, that's bent too much. Where's that gone? Oh no, not the heavy. Um It's a decent shot. It's not bad at all from being in the heavy rough, but that was a pretty bad second shot. I had plenty of room to play with. I was a bit over aggressive trying to cut the corner. And this is an absolute monster putt. Um, get inside a couple of foot I'll be happy turn a little bit oh nicely weighted um, you know you're gonna always take a two put from there happy with that low scoring round though well not low scoring that'll be a good thing um, low beardy chance round I should say really so it's only three eight one to the hole. Um so it's two eight five to here and it's down This should be good for that uh 
that fairway, especially with the wind in our face. Yeah, just help them to stop it. And a fairly short shot in here, so this is going to play at about 99, well, play about as is, really. Um, this could be good if it bounces a little bit. Keep going. Ah, I did take a little bit of loft off. A little bit more would have been um, hole bound, I think. Now go. I've actually got a birdie for the first time in quite a while since hole seven. Two under now. It's a very tricky course, though. Oh, what is this? What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Um. What? Uh, so this is going to play at about 52 or 53 less. So about 1, 2, 5. Well, let's get the aim and right first. Where's, where's the flag stick? I'm going to have to aim sort of right edge over here. What did I say about 125? To be honest, if I... Um, if I get anywhere near to being on the green here... You know, that's not bad, actually. Um, bit too much loft. So, mm, come on, I love a chip in. I haven't had a chip in in a while. Go. Oh, nearly called it. I'll take that par though. Um, it's an interesting par three, I'll give it that. So par four, I think we'll play it relatively safe and aim for this bunker. Should turn back into the fairway. Yeah, that'll do. Just means the distance of the next shot's gonna be longer, but I think this is a course you definitely want to be playing safe. The, the, the shot, the holes where I haven't played safe, I've really paid for it. So um, this will play about one twenty. Yeah, why don't we play a wood? Can draw that in, bit of loft. Take some of this thing out of the shot. Well, it's not turning left with the wind, and I didn't add that much fade on. So, what happened with that? I hit it spot on. Hmm. Whoop. Wow, this looks like another drop shot here. far left enough oh a little bit too much there's another drop shot nice effort on the putt but yeah pay the price again oh god this is horrendous um Could get an unlucky bounce and go towards the tree or anything here, but let's hopefully just go 
No, nope, that's fine. That's all right. It's actually not as bad as it looks. Ooh, chance to get on the green. So this is going to play more like 250, about 260. Now, if we play it as is, and with the wind, if we fade it in a bit, hopefully this will either stop just short of the green or just roll onto the green. Because um, there is a bank at the back there that I think so it kicks right a bit. Now slow down. Ah, uh, no, it's going to go down the bank, is it? It's going to go down the bank. Oh, just stop short. Oh, there's a bank right there. I mean, this is a horrible putt again. Um, Very horrible putt. I mean, I'm going to aim fairly short, and it's probably still going to go well past. Ten, ten, ten. Yeah... I mean, I called it, but there's not much you can really do about those puts. Um, got a birdie though. Yeah, but the issue I have sometimes with greens like that, which we've seen a lot on this course, is even if you play a decent shot, and I know you could judge it like where am I going to land, tower an uphill put, etc. But um, sometimes you're left in a situation where no matter what you play, you're still going to be left with it. A 10 or 15 footer just to save par for example um, and I'm not so sure I'm as keen on that and this isn't just about this course there's, you know, there's a lot of courses like that um, but you know that's I suppose that's the challenge isn't it um, you know trying to get you not just land it close to the, the hole but land on the, the correct side of the hole so you've got a nice putt um, so this is about 14 take about 5 yards off about 215 now I think I'm going to play it like this and add a bit of D loft on And power up a little bit. The winds just changed slight direction and increased slightly. So yeah, this hmm. Come on, we need a chip in. That's pretty much spot on where I was aiming. Turn, turn. Ah, good chip. Just haven't holed out in a while. Um, got one hole and one so far, but I did have quite a few other. I mean, plenty of chip ins and um, hole outs from you know like hundred yards, hundred and seventy yards, things like that. But not for a while. But I haven't been playing the game as much. Oh, this is bar five. All right. I mean, this is a relatively easy par five. Um. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm gonna just use the wood, and he's gonna go left. I think we're gonna keep as is. Just with the um, the wind and the light. See, that's about spot on. Now, if it does roll a little bit. Now, the greens are quite soft, aren't they? Um, should have taken that loft off. Now, this does not like look like it's going to break. Well, if anything, it's just slightly left edge. Come on, get an eagle. Oh no, I really didn't think it was going to break at all, there was a tiny bit of left right movement just on one part but 
There must have been another part that was left to right as well because it broke towards the end there. But that was quite a nice hole to finish on. Like Compared to the rest of the course, that was quite a, an easy hole to finish on, which was nice. Um, feelings on the course, I, I really think I would have to play it again because I think it was quite unusual and I think it was almost like if that was genuinely based on a Tiger Woods course, it did have that feel where you have so, you can have some ridiculous shots that you wouldn't really get in a, in a genuine course. But I think you'd have to play it two or three times to get the judgment of different holes at when to go for it, when to not. So I think I've had another go on that. There would definitely be a few things that sh shots I definitely wouldn't go for. I'm pretty sure I'd have a, a better round because of that. But I really enjoyed it. Some really difficult putts, which is fine. Some of it was really challenging and good. There was a couple of holes where I just thought it was almost impossible to get a decent put on without leaving yourself sort of 10, 15 foot away at least. But yeah, I'll definitely play it again. So that's not a bad sign. So yeah, bit of a different course there. So hope you all enjoyed. Let's just have a very quick look at the scorecard actually. So very mixed bag. So you've got three bogeys and six birdies. And I think a lot of those bogeys were just from very, very poor judgment for me. Just going for shots I shouldn't have. So if you are watching, do give it a go. I would definitely say it's worth giving it um, even a couple of rounds on to, to get the feel of it. Hope you'll all join me next time. And um, leave a like and a comment below if you can. And I'll see you then.